Today we're going to touch on something that's a real pain in the hiney in my area. It's deer fly control. Uh, one of the biggest problems when you live in the country is dealing with the pests. You got mosquitoes, you got deer flies, you got horse flies, all that stuff. The deer flies this year have been particularly awful. If deer flies cause problems for you too, stick around. We'll help you get a handle on things. <music> In my area, deer flies are a real problem. They're absolutely relentless. They get in your face, they bite, they just raise all kinds of heck while you're trying to do things outside. Sometimes they can be the difference between getting things done outside and not. I'm gonna show you how we deal with them here around my farm. Now, one of the things that pretty much everybody agrees on is deer flies just love the color blue. They also love to attack anything that's moving. They will attack the highest point on your body, which is typically your head, and they like to bite you on the back of the head. So they're kind of ambush predators. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create a trap that will stop that from happening. And they may attack you once, but they won't attack you twice. For a number of years, we'd just use a ball cap and a ball cap with a deer fly patch on the back will tend to do a decent job. However, that patch will get unsticky, if that's a word, uh, over a fairly short period of time. And it's always on your hat, it's kind of a mess. There's another method that I like to use, and it is to take a blue hard hat and modify it a little bit. And then we use some Tanglefoot sticky stuff, uh, which is a bug trap, on the back of the helmet and that catches the deer flies. Stick around, I'll show you how to modify this helmet so that the Tanglefoot sticks to it better and you're less likely to wind up with Tanglefoot all down the back of your neck. Now this stuff is Tanglefoot. It is some awful sticky stuff. The only thing that hates this stuff more than me is deer flies. It's like a cross between honey and super glue. You can get it for about eight bucks a tub Oh, sometimes a little bit more depending on where you're buying it. You can buy it on eBay, you can buy it on Amazon, or you can sometimes buy it at your local garden store. Now, Tanglefoot will tell you that the easiest way to clean it up, or the recommended way to clean it up, is with an orange cleaner. Now, what I use is this stuff here. It's pure citrus. This is just an air freshener. All it is, is it's pure citrus. You can also get this online for a few bucks a can. Now this is a blue construction hard hat. I found it on eBay for about 13 bucks with free shipping. And this one has the brim goes all the way around. That helps quite a bit for what we're gonna do with it. Now this is the front of the hat. You can tell the brim's a little bit longer. This is the back. There's a suspension that needs to be installed. We need to install the suspension before we start heating this up and modifying it just so that the suspension is sure to continue to fit. For this job, I'm going to use my heat gun and I'm going to warm this helmet up and modify it so that the tangle foot doesn't slip off quite as easily and it doesn't wind up in a puddle on the back of my neck. Because remember what I told you, that stuff's awful. What we're going to do is we're going to warm the back side of the helmet up and use just a piece of steel rod and make some indentations that will cause that tangle foot to slide down this helmet a little bit slower. So let's get started on that. This is a pretty fancy heat gun from Wagner, and you can set it at varying temperatures and varying amounts of blower fan. Let's start it at 650 and see how that goes. Be sure to stick around till the end of the video and you'll be able to see how many deer flies we caught in a very short period of time. Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe for me. It really helps me out. I've upped the heat to 750 degrees. Let's try that. There's our pock marks. They don't have to be anything super fancy. And all they do is they keep the tangle foot from sliding off the helmet quite as fast. Now one more little modification we're gonna make is the back of this brim. I'm going to just heat it up and bend it up just a little bit so that the tangle foot doesn't slide right off of that and onto my back. And we'll hold it there till it cools and sets up a little bit on this side. There you have it. 
Now we didn't make any holes through the helmet. That would be a bad thing. You'd get this tangled foot in your hair. That'd be awful. What we did do was make a lot of divots for the tangle foot to get traction on to keep it from slipping off the helmet. And I curled up the back neck here a little bit. Looks a little bit more like a conquistador's helmet now than a hard hat, but this will do the job. Now again, you don't have to do any of this melting at all. You can just go ahead and apply the tangle foot to the helmet. This is just a little bit better design. Now that we've got all that done, we're gonna take our tangle foot and a tongue depressor or a wax applicator, if you're a lady, you recognize it, and simply spread it across the back of this helmet. And remember, we've only got to do the back because these doggone bugs are ambush hunters and they're going to hit you in the back of the head. They're not going to hit you in the front of the head. So you catch them all on the back of the helmets where they get caught. And the hotter it is, the more this stuff will run down the helmet and it'll run down over time. That's why we have that curling right here to keep it from making it all the way to the edge. Oh, this is evil stuff. Now, from time to time, this thing will become full of bugs and you're gonna have to spray it off. Use a little of that orange cleaner, let it dry, and then reapply some more of this tangle foot and you'll be back in business. Now this hard hat has a real nice adjustable suspension on it. So it'll fit just about anybody. All you do is you pull that dial out and give it a twist. You can see the bugs are coming for me. Let's put her on and go for a little walk, see what we get. Now I sincerely doubt I'll ever make it to high fashion with this, but it sure looks a lot better than a baseball cap with a blue cup stuck to the top of it. And the deer flies, as you can see, they love it. And it's only the deer flies I'm trying to impress tonight. Got to be a dozen of them back there. They're starting to thin out. Let's see our catch rate. There you have it. Let's call it 12 deer flies that will never bother me again. And I caught those in about two minutes time. And you can see where that tangle foot is dripping down the bottom, but it's caught in that trench that I created. 